my grandfather is a World War II veteran um, who served in France and my father's a Vietnam veteran. And so um, the, the service that our personnel have provided to the U.S. over time is invaluable and this is a service that we can provide in return. I am hosting a group of students from MTSU as part of a partnership with the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency. The aircraft crash site that we're working on in an area in France is a B-17 crash from World War II. We're looking at for the individuals who were lost in that, uh, in that crash. Our goal is to recover evidence that can help link the crash to those individuals as well as find the, the remains of those individuals and any personal effects, any items uh, that they may have had on them. The mission of the DPAA is to provide the fullest possible accounting for U.S. personnel for the families and the nation. For our students, it provides a training opportunity, but most importantly, we have family members who are still waiting for answers about their missing loved ones from past conflicts. This is the B-17 Flying Fortress. Her name is a Sentimental Journey, and she is a World War II heavy bomber. It's one of only four that are still flying. The B-17s were very well known in World War II aviation. They are the ones that massed enormous bombing raids in Europe. Uh, they also served in the Pacific area. There were about uh, 13,000 produced in World War II, and it was restored to its wartime configuration. Now, it's one of our key exhibits, and we also take it out on tour and make appearances in communities all around the country. In the summer of 2020, I was fortunate because I got to tour the B-17 in Bristol, Tennessee. So the sentimental journey traveled there. I met members of the Commemorative Air Force during my tour and we started a conversation about potentially bringing the B-17 to Middle Tennessee in the future. Because they aren't flying to our part of the country this year, they extend an invitation to us to come out. What the Commemorative Air Force is doing here is really unique in that you get to have a tactile experience, so it's invaluable for the students to be able to explore the aircraft, touch the aircraft. Now, what we're recovering in the field um, is remnants of an aircraft crash, so it's going to be small pieces, and, and what we're really looking at here is the opportunity for the students to sort of memorize the airplane and see what those smaller metal parts are that they might be seeing and be able to, to orient those in the plane. So it's a, a tangible experience that they wouldn't be able to have anywhere else. It's important for a whole bunch of reasons. One of the, one of the reasons is we're teaching uh, students how to do archaeology, how to do forensic recoveries. And obviously the, the main mission bringing these, uh, these individuals home to their families. It's very important that we pass on these skills to students and we teach them the value, not just of the work that they're doing in terms of their professional development, but also the value of service for what they're doing. So our students are really, you know, not just learning, but they're also providing a service um, to the surviving family members, to our country as a whole. It's really important to be able to get closure as to what happened to your family members. That's one of the things that drew me to forensic anthropology in the first place, was to be able to help people be able to grieve their lost family members and know what happened to them and to be able to have closure in that and be able to both remember them and move on in their lives. On a personal note related to the, um, the missions that we're doing in Europe in conjunction with the DPAA, it is meaningful to me to be able to use my scientific knowledge um, to, to provide answers for family members who, who are still waiting for that information. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow Arizona's top stories and breaking news by downloading the 12 News app and subscribing to the 12 News YouTube channel.